What's going on guys, PC here. Today we're gonna take a first look at a really strange Dreamcast controller I recently picked up. And this is it right here. It is by a company named 200 Toy. And I had never ever seen one of these before. I was just browsing eBay one day and saw this picture of a really strange looking Dreamcast controller. And what really caught my eye about it was this really strange looking analog stick. And as you can see, it looks almost like a trackball, which is what I thought it was when I first saw it. But it actually isn't. It's just a standard analog stick minus the stick. It's just a round ball that springs back to the center. But uh, I'm curious to see how well this thing will actually perform in a game. Because obviously, it, it, I, I don't know, it's, it seems to me that your thumb would, would slip a lot on it. But uh, it does have a grippy texture to it, so maybe it won't. I don't know. I guess we'll see later because I'm going to actually test this out in a racing game. So we'll see how it performs. But uh, other than that, we have uh, six buttons instead of the standard four. Uh, the top two buttons are your L and R triggers. So I guess that's better for fighting games since you probably don't want to use the triggers for fighting games. Uh, you also have this switch here, which I'm assuming is a turbo switch. Uh, start button a really strange d-pad that doesn't look like it would work very well and of course you have your standard triggers on the back here uh, another thing that really stands out about this controller is the fact that it is huge uh, I thought the regular standard Dreamcast controller was big this thing dwarfs it in comparison as you can see here look at that the standard Dreamcast controller looks tiny and, uh, <laughs> this thing's huge if you have huge hands maybe you'd like this controller I don't know we'll see uh, we'll see how it actually performs but uh, we're gonna try it out in a game I think I'm going to uh, play some speed devils with it and uh, see how it performs but uh, let's get to it okay so as you can clearly see this is not speed devils <laughs> uh, things didn't go quite as planned I started off with speed devils went into the game and I couldn't steer the car um, the analog stick would just barely register. Uh, the car would turn a tiny, tiny bit, but that's about it. Um, so I thought, well, maybe it just doesn't like this particular game. So I went over to Test Drive V Rally next, and I couldn't steer the car at all. The analog stick would just would not register. And I tried the D-pad, and that did work. So the controller works. It's just the analog stick. So I figured. Maybe it just doesn't like racing games. Um, the odds of that are pretty slim, but anyway, I went over to Alien Front Online, as you can see here, and it worked a little bit better. I guess the sensitivity in this game is higher, but as you can see, I'm moving the cursor around now, and it's moving extremely slow. So, yeah, the analog stick on this controller sucks. <laughs> I admit there is a possibility that maybe my controller is defective, but uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm on the alien select screen now, and I can't even use this screen. Uh, it, it won't register. So yeah, <laughs> let's go into the game here, and I'll show you a bit more. Uh, the other buttons and the trigger buttons and the start button and D-pad, they all seem to work all right. Um, I would, I mean, yeah, everything else works alright, but uh, the buttons are a little bit more mushy <laughs> than the standard Dreamcast controller. I, you have to push them down more, uh, whereas the um, standard Dreamcast controller, you don't really have to push the buttons down very far. So I don't particularly care for that. The uh, triggers feel a bit cheap. Um, as you can see, the analog stick is the main problem here. And I can barely move my alien. He's just kind of inching along. So, yeah. Um, so, my conclusion on this controller, it's not very good. <laughs> but like I said, it could just be my controller. Maybe it's defective. But even if the analog stick did work alright, I... I I don't know, I don't think this would be that great a controller. Frankly, there really aren't any good third-party Dreamcast controllers. Uh, the standard one really is the best one, and that's the case with most consoles anyway. Um, I just thought this controller might be kind of interesting because of the 
really weird analog stick, but uh, yeah, it just makes games unplayable pretty much. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much my conclusion with this controller here. Um, it does have a uh, turbo function, as I said. Uh, you can switch this switch to auto and hold down the button and it will auto fire, which is kind of cool, but uh, I don't think I'd really use that all that much. I guess that would be useful for uh, shmups, but I don't actually have a shmup on the Dreamcast yet. I am wait still waiting on Redux, so <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's not a very good controller. I would definitely say avoid it. But uh, anyway guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.